All right, so now we're going to calculate the distance um, from a source to a cell using effectively Euclidean distance or straight line distance measures. So if you're an ARC user, you're probably familiar with the Euclidean distance tool, which is pretty easy to set up and run. In QGIS, um, you actually have to do a couple steps uh, if you're working from a vector um, input as your source. So first off, the tool that you're going to run is this uh, proximity raster distance tool, but the input has to be a um, it has to be a raster. So that means you're going to have to rasterize your vector data before you can begin. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to go to raster and then conversion, and then we'll do rasterize. So what we're going to calculate specifically is the Euclidean distance uh, from highways. So we're going to rasterize these highway layers. Okay, so we're going to start off with our inner states um, and then field to use to burn in. Um, it doesn't really matter in this case. We're not going to use it. So let's use the FID field. Um, or actually, we'll just set a fixed. So we'll just have a value of 1. Um, the cell size, we want this to be in the reference units. And since we're doing the whole country, it's going to be um, a lot of grid cells. If we do a small cell size, we're going to bump it up. So I'm going to do a 10 kilometer cell size. So we're going to put 10,000 in there. And then the extent, we'll have it use um, a layer extent, and we'll make sure it covers the extent of all the states. So it covers the whole country. Uh, no data value. But so that depends on what we use. So if we use float 32-bit, well, we don't need to use that. We'll just use 16, and then we'll need to set the value that corresponds to that. Um, I always Let me see here. Let's look at a, a layer that's in the same format. I believe this grid is. So, yeah, there we go. Negative 32767. Okay, so we'll do negative 32767 for the um, null. And I believe that's everything we're going to need to do. All right, let's see if this works. So we'll hit run. Oh, didn't find the layer. So let's see what happened with that. It's so raster, extraction. Uh, sorry, conversion vector to raster. And this time we won't pick a field. We'll just set a fixed value of 1 and enter states. Didn't like the field choice for some reason. And we want to. Again, set our extent, uh, use layer extent, and then the states. Negative 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. And we're going to change that to uh, 16. OK, that says it's done. All right, so let's see if it worked. We'll turn this off. There we go. So those are our vector, our vector line objects turned into raster grids with a cell size of 10 by 10 kilometers. Okay, so next, now that we have this, we want to actually run our distance. So we can do that under raster, and then um, analysis, and then proximity. Okay, so yeah, we're going to use our rasterized layer. That's going to be the, the roads. A list of pixel values in the source image should be considered target pixels. Um, we don't really need that, but we're just going to put one because it's all the values that we are interested in are coded to one. Um, 
maximum distance to be generated. I'm just going to set this to a really high number. So we'll do, let's see how far, I don't know, we'll just set a really high. And we don't need, that should be fine. Again, we should have to set a null value, so we'll do And we'll just let it be 16 bit. Should be good enough. All right, let's see what this does. Note they didn't have us give a cell size, and I believe that's because by default, um, it's going to, by default, it's going to use the cell size of the input layer there. So let's see if this runs. Okay, so it seems like it did. There we go. So that gave us back our distance. Um, so now let's say that we wanted to clip it down so it was just within the state's uh, extent. So let's do that. We'll do um, raster, convert, uh, extraction, extract layer by mask. And we're going to take this proximity and we're going to extract it by the states. And that should be fine. Let's hit run. Close. So now we just have values within the extent of the country there. Okay, so that's an example of Euclidean distance. So again, you basically you have to, instead of starting with vector data, you've got to convert it into raster data first before you can do your um, Euclidean distance conversions.